Shadow people, also known as shadow folk, or shadow beings, are usually attracted to one person or location for unknown reasons. Often they are seen as dark silhouettes of human shape, generally male, that prefer to watch someone unseen and flee the moment they are noticed. Still this doesn't always fit the experience. While some people distinctly see a shadowy human form others have described shapeless wispy black blobs and swirling columns of dark smoke. The personalities or characteristics of shadow people range greatly from shy and skittish to downright nasty and malevolent, with a few witnesses describing them as the ultimate essence of pure evil. Accounts of shadow people have been reported all over the world. There has been an increase of reported sightings of these creatures within the last 5 to 10 years, though there is anecdotal evidence of these creatures appearing before human witnesses throughout our history. Reports of shadow people are in many respects different from accounts of ghosts. Ghosts are said to be the disembodied spirits of deceased people and are usually said to take on the appearance and characteristics of human beings. Orbs of light, ectolism and glowing mists have also been associated with ghost sightings, none of which is common the occurrence of shadow people. Although many accounts describe shadow beings as having human-like form, they are generally not described as resembling actual individuals, living or deceased. It is unheard of in my experience that shadow people ever communicate verbally with witnesses. Feelings of dread, intense fear or panic and paralysis have been ascribed to the experience of WTNESSING a shadow person. The more consistent accounts of shadow people typically describe a feeling of dread associated with the presence of this phenomena, and animals are said to react to the phenomena with fear and hostility. Shadow beings are said to move extremely fast and travel through solid matter. They typically are said to have no discernible features such as mouths, noses, or eyes. Their forms are usually described as somewhat thin or smoke-like. Direct visual contact is rarely reported by most eyewitnesses of shadow people. They are said to usually disappear before they can be seen clearly, and are seen in the corner of one's eye. These beings are said to often appear in mirrors. There are many proposed explanations of this phenomena. Some of these explanations are outlined below. One of the more creative theories is that shadow beings are manifest thought forms meaning that they are collections of negative psychic energy from areas where traumatic events have taken place and evil people frequent. The negative psychic energy begins to manifest and takes on form and motive, thriving on fear and negative emotions for sustenance. Shadow beings have also been described as forms of ghosts, demons, interdimensional most popular explanation seems to be that they are some sort of other dimensional beings whose dimension of origin occasionally overlaps with ours, which is said to explain their ethereal appearance and fleeting nature. As with most supernatural phenomena there is usually a proposed logical, scientifically valid explanation for credible experiences that neither vilify the witnesses, nor require violation of generally accepted scientific principles. Several probable rational explanations for illusions resulting in the believed perception of shadow beings are outlined below. There is a condition known as hypnogagia, waking sleep, which amounts to a state of semi-consciousness in which a person can be thinking clearly and yet perceiving images that are being dreamed. This state is probably responsible for most so-called supernatural experiences by honest, rational people. It has also been proven recently that areas with erratic or powerful electromagnetic fields can interfere with the electrical impulses or firing synapses of the human mind, thus influencing people subjected to such environments over time to believe that they are hearing or seeing ghosts, aliens, or perhaps shadow beings. Such environments include old buildings with substandard wiring, power plants, and areas with naturally occurring strong magnetic fields. Perhaps the only aspect of alleged eyewitness accounts of shadow people that remains difficult to explain in objective scientific terms is the similarity of the beings being seen in these alleged accounts, especially the tall man with a hat that is reported as often by four-year-old children as with adults. However, this could simply be a result of common archetypes. Note similarities between many shadow people reports and the Grim Reaper, shared in the subconscious of all people, just as people all over the world report dreams of flying and falling. Shadow Person Story 1 I was leaving my room to take a shower. It was a little before 11 p.m. I turned the corner and smack in front of me I saw this pitch black mass in the shape of a person come out of the side wall of the concrete bunker move towards my right and pass behind another row of chis. It was free floating and had no bottom legs. Its height was about 6 feet tall and was 3 dimensional. It ran across an open area that was 12 feet wide in less than a one-fourth second. It made no sound and had no facial features, neck, arms, or legs. The moon was not up for another 30 minutes. I immediately looked behind me thinking that someone had walked behind me but there was no one there. 
Shadow Person Story 2 I saw something about 5 years ago colon IT was around 10 p.m. and I was coming out from the subway and into a driveway of a community center parking lot. There was moderate light and I was with my friend. We had come back from shopping and I was talking about makeup or clothes and then I saw these two people that were kind of block shaped. They were solid black and kind of jogged past me about 40 feet ahead. I was still rambling on and on about clothes until I realized they disappeared before they hit the grassy area. I hadn't even blinked and both figures just vanished. I stopped talking and kept staring at where they were and I stopped walking. My friend immediately knew I saw something weird and told me to stop it because she's scared of creepy things. It wasn't really scary but I was confused. The shadows were not against flat surfaces such as walls but I realized shortly after they almost appeared to come out of the wall. They were standing upright and 3D according to my eyes which made it seem like they had substance. I knew it wasn't coming off a reflection or anything because there were no cars passing by there and the other side of the driveway were train tracks that were dark. They appeared right before my eyes, in front of me and disappeared a few moments later before I could even blink. I'm not a paranormal or supernatural type of person, I'm not religious and I am scientifically oriented, so I'm not too freaked out about evil, and it is as I don't believe in them and somehow rationalize it just some phenomena of the brain, but I can't really explain what I saw. I came across the term shadow people long after I saw them. Shadow Person Story 3 I have seen many shadow people in my home. Dark figures, like people standing together in groups. They are not threatening but sure scare me terribly. I have seen ghosts in my home. One very vivid and the others faint. The one lady ghost was in a night dress with long dark hair standing and leaning down talking but I couldn't hear her works. I was so scared I stared in shock until she disappeared. My home was built in 1920s and I have researched the home and there have been no strange happenings reported. This is not my only experiences with paranormal. I have had an alien encounter as well in St. Catharines, Ontario 10 years ago that to this day has terrified me and I do not talk about this to anyone in fear that they might think I'm crazy but I clearly remember everything about it. I have had psychic abilities and dreams. They have not happened in years now. I have looked online for people who have had similar experiences but none are just like mine. Descriptions. What I read about shadow people on this site is close but the things I saw were shadows of people like beings standing in groups and somewhere very dark. Like true shadows only standing upright all around the room. I have seen flashing of dark figures as well.